what was it like? Because, see, I want to talk about different times in those eras, too, because some of those albums are like cornerstones of where the game changed and the trajectory changed at the same time, too. When the Ice Cream Man dropped, everybody knew that, okay, No Limit is a problem now, Mm -hmm. okay? The album's long as hell. They got all these damn songs on it, Mm -hmm. and it's jamming. And then also, the songs didn't sound alike either. Yeah, that's because you had, you know, different producers on there like K. Lou, mm-hmm. myself, K. L. Craig B. Yeah, DJ Daryl. Yeah. that's another. Uh, you know, those are two other three two other um, uh, uh, honorary Beast by the Pound members. So shout out to K. Lou. Shout out to. Um, Shout out to DJ Dow. Also, shout out to the Sons of Funk. They, you know, they were beat makers, so they were those were musicians as well. Yeah, they were honorary beats by the Pound members. But uh, it was like a gumbo, man. We had all these elements, mm-hmm. all these different, you know, the uh, d- different talents yeah. that came to the table, made those contributions. So when you have those, you know, it's un- unlike a Dre and stuff like that, even though he incorporated dads in the, into a lot of his stuff. Yeah. And later on, he had Scott Storch. Yeah. But um, you have an album like the, the Ice Cream Man, like I'm saying, it was like a compilation anyway. Yeah. He was the king of compilations. So he had all, not only did he have uh, the the producer, he had these features Yeah. from these great writers and, you know, songwriters and and artists, man, like mm. Mia, you know what I'm saying? And, Come on. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was just special, bro. It's like like 31 Flavors, you know, Yeah, exactly. Like, Come like on. Said, exactly. I mean, producing the track for Ice Cream Man, the title track and the theme song of the album, though, man, what was that like for you getting in there saying, okay, I like to produce, but y'all know I was singing this thing, too, now. Don't get it messed up. Well, man, like, K. Lou led the production on that. Okay. You know, shout out to K. Lou again. He led the production. And, you know, P was like, man, get in that, man. And uh, he <laughs> said, and uh, K. Lou gave me the invitation to say, man, you hear something you want to put on it? Yeah. So I put the the the, uh, the, the keyboard chords, like you hear the, the fillers, will, will fill that song up was the chords. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I played on the keys. And, um, and while after I did that, I laid that. You know, I heard the hook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, P had told Mia. Mm. You know, he pinned that hook and say the part that she sung. He pinned and say, "Well, Mia sang this part right." And she went in and sang it because she got a voice on it as well. Yeah. yeah. And while she was singing that, mm-hmm. I just filled in Mr. Ice Cream Man. I just <laughs> I just filled that in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And people were like, "Cuz go lay that." You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it was just a vibe. It was a synergy that was going on. And I just felt, did what I felt. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And he said, go lay it. 